just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around, get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, I think about that. Um, I am about to leave for work. Today would, is officially my, one, two, three, will be officially my fourth day teaching. I'm becoming more comfortable with everything, speaking in front of the kids, and I call them kids because I told you guys they're younger than me. I'm sure one day I'm gonna get someone who's my age or maybe in their 30s or I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it's going really well. It's funny how you get used to these kids and I call them my babies, not to their faces or anything like that, but they are really, the group that I have so far, they are really, what's the word? They wanna learn, they wanna know. So they're always pulling dental stories from me, which I enjoy telling and yeah, it's it's been great so far, knock on wood. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, what else? So today is their first test. They have a test in vocabulary, dental words, of course. So that's gonna be t done today. And I haven't really vlogged a lot this week because when I come home, I have been having to grade homework and stuff like that. And I knew being a teacher in, you know, that's what it involved. But I don't know, sometimes I'm really exhausted now because my mind is always going, so I'm like mentally exhausted. Hold on, Boston's whining to go out. So because Savannah had her homework spread out on her bed last night, he had to sleep in the crate. Um, so anyway, um, what was I saying? Everything's going good and I barely have time to vlog at night. It's because I'm exhausted, I'm tired. Like I really wanted to vlog last night, but I was tired, I was grading. Um, homework and I was preparing for today yeah you guys it's going good um, I'm still applying for jobs to like the state and stuff like that so you guys will <laughs> if I'm ever switching jobs again don't be like oh my goodness this woman switches jobs so often well that's my goal I want to be with Kaiser which is a hospital here in the area or either Sutter Hospital because they have good benefits as well or I want to be with the state because I'm thinking benefits this job pays more it has some benefits but not any that's going to not what I want not what I'm looking for for when I retire so yeah, all right, I better finish getting ready so I can get going, and yeah. So I am in one of the areas I'm able to work in until I get my own cubicle out where the dental assistant instructors are. Um, yeah, so I'm just here working at my desk. Apparently I'm the only one in here, so that's why I'm able to talk to you guys. So I am taking a break really quick, and then after this, I'm gonna go to the lab with the students, and that's the best part. It's fun, teaching them how to do stuff. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, the next day. I am so bad at vlogging lately since I've started um, teaching worse than before, but let me show you something. Look at Savannah's bed. It's empty. She's not here. You wanna know why? Wanna know why? Okay, so I had to get in the car to get going. I'm leaving early because I have to I have to get gas and then I'm gonna stop to McDonald's to get some coffee because what I didn't tell you guys, I thought I told you guys. Anyway, Savannah has a job now. She is a McDonald's employee. So yeah, she's going to college, she's working. Yeah, and guess what? She told them she can work from 4 a.m. to whatever time in the morning, you know, 2 a.m. when they close. Oh, they're taking her seriously because her shift started this morning at 5. Guess who had to take her? 
yeah y'all know I'm not a morning person so I told her I said you set your clock you get up when you are ready to walk out the door then you wake me up and so when she woke me up I'm just looking at my house when she woke me up I jumped up, I used the bathroom, I don't even think I put any shoes on, <laughs> and I drove her to work. And when I came home, I dived right back in bed because I had to get up two hours later for, yeah, two hours later. So anyway, let me go get gas, and yesterday was her first day, well, she had an orientation, and then yesterday was her actual first day working. And when I went pick her up, she was at the register. She was already helping out people. And I'm like, look at my baby girl acting all confident like she knows everything. And she was like, Mom, I really wasn't confident. You know, I was worried and sweating and, you know, scared. So, yeah, she'll she'll do fine. So let's get going. Hopefully she'll be at the drive-thru today when we go get our coffee. Y'all, this is the second time I've done this, but I'm glad I realized it before I was almost to work so leaving out the house early trying to hurry up to go to McDonald's and get gas before I head out to work I forgot my workbook my folder that I bring every day and so I'm on my way to get gas and I'm looking and I'm like I feel like I'm missing something what's going on and I look down horrible angle I'm so sorry I look down and I'm like where's my folder they have two tests today and I have everything in my folder at home. So I'm actually on my way back home to get the folder and then I can go to McDonald's. Yeah, I should still have time, but I already got my gas. So yeah, this is the second time I've done this, you guys. And yeah, I need to do better because I can't keep doing this. What if I actually get to school and realize I need something? And granted, yes, I can print out their test that they need for today again but it's just gonna take so much more time because I always prepare the day before or I try to prepare two or three days ahead of time so yeah y'all there's this humongous dragonfly like right by my door okay I have everything I need how could I forget this I take this home every day this has all of their homework in it their grades all of that stuff but no I forgot it maybe because I'm not used to bringing those things to work every day I mean, this is my first time instructing, so they say it takes 21 or 22 days to form a habit, and I have not been there 22 days yet. Have I? I don't know. I'm in line for McDonald's, and the person speaking wasn't Savannah, and I think the person that takes the money is the same person that speaks. The same person who takes your order is the same person who takes the money and then the different person gives you the food. So let's see if Savannah will be giving me my coffee. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. She is actually at the window. Oh my God, I see her. Hi Savannah. You learning drive through this morning, yeah. huh? I was hoping we would catch you. How's it feel? I seen that little thing on the circle and I was like, I bet that's her. <laughs> yep, that's me. So that was not planned. We just got lucky. We meaning you and I. We just got lucky to happen to see her in the drive through And I think I embarrassed her a little bit because I told the guy, I don't know what I tell him. Teach her good. She's a good worker. I will teach her what? I don't know. Something corny like that. But oh well, I'm a proud mama. So her shift yesterday was only three hours and like I said, it was her first day of actually working. Her first time there was an orientation at a, actually a different McDonald's um, than the one she's working at. And so when she walked in, I actually teared up a little bit. Y'all, I don't know, why am I so emotional? Maybe because she's my youngest, my last kid? I don't know. And on the way there, she's like, why did I do this? Why did I sign up for this? She said, why can't I just be two weeks into working and already know everything? And everyone has to be new sometime. You know, even me as an adult, when I go to a new job, I'm a little bit nervous because even though you know what to do, you don't know what's expected of you. I'm gonna be the new girl, so I get it. But yeah, she walked in and I don't know, I just got tears in my eyes, y'all. I don't know. This is my classroom, y'all. Just 
doing a few things before the students come in, which should be in like three minutes. Good morning, today is Friday, happy Friday. And you guys have been getting just me vlogging in the mornings because I have been coming home and grading homework and then last night was Bible study. So anyway, today you guys will get a full day of vlogs or a full vlog day. <laughs> and yeah so i am actually ready just waiting a little bit before i leave i got ready pretty early probably because it's friday oh, savannah's not home she is already at work and she is not liking these early mornings but she's getting up on her own because i told her i said i am not setting my alarm clock to wake you up you're gonna do it on your own that's what i did my other kids so i am not forgetting my things today i'm going to put it in the car right now so I'm in this room by myself, right? And all of the lights in the school are censored where you walk down the hall, it'll turn on and all the classrooms. So you don't have to turn on and off. The, you don't have to turn the lights on and off. So I'm in here and I've been here for a while just sitting and the lights went out, scared me to death. All I did was stand up and I walked two steps and it turned back on, but it was still scary. Say hi, Savannah. Hi, Savannah. We are in Koshi Ramen House, Ramen Bar, whatever it is. Get in ramen. Ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. You want to tell them how you're enjoying work? It's work. <laughs> So anyway, so yeah, she's a McDonald's employee. I feel like this is really close. It's not, it's actually not. <laughs> so this is dinner. Um, I got the seafood ramen and it's still hot. So let me eat dinner. Good morning. Yes, it's the next morning. So what had happened was after I ate dinner last night, I laid down for a little bit and I'm like, okay, I'll get up, do what I need to do. Straighten up the house so I wouldn't have to do it today and vlog some more epic fail because i just went to sleep and i'm about to drop savannah off to work she's sitting here next to me and then i'll clean the dishes because the dinner dishes and everything is left there from last night and straighten up the house and just enjoy my saturday off i'm not picking up one school book nothing because i've done everything and i'll just prepare for my monday's lesson tomorrow so yeah right now i am just sitting here waiting to go drop Savannah off to school, to school. <laughs> want to go back to school to work so I just got home and I'm opening up the blinds I'm going to let Leo in. I always call this dog Leo I tell you he has the soul of Leo or the feel of Leo to me the feel you guys know what I'm saying so let him in then I'm actually going to crate him while I clean because when Savannah's not home he follows me so I don't need him getting in my way He's so good. I know I told you guys that before, but he's so good. Just like Leo, you tell him to get in the crate and he goes. He doesn't even fight you on it. Haven't had you guys here in a while. So I am just about to make some coffee. This is my all time favorite cup. My friend Melissa actually got this for me when she went to Disneyland one year. Thank you so much, girl. I am still loving that cup. And you guys are seeing the dirty dishes? Yeah, that's from yesterday. And they did not clean it. And because I fell asleep early, I didn't get a chance to do it. So I'm going to do that today. I can't believe I'm letting you guys see my dirty dishes and what my kids do. I mean, we all have dirty dishes, I know. But I don't know. I just don't like showing it. So I'm going to have my coffee, eat breakfast first, and then I'm going to get to cleaning. Um, later on, when I pick Savannah up from work, I am going to go to the mall. Because last week, we got her some shoes for work because they wanted her to get like non-grip, non-slip shoes or whatever. And I did that, but... They wanted a specific kind. And I wish she would have told us that at the beginning. Then that way, you know, she would have been able to get the right kind in the first place. So, gotta do that and then just come home and relax. Nothing huge planned. So, yeah, battery's flashing. Let's go change it. So the kids, 
and it's funny because I always say the kids like they're five but they are my kids they wanted to try Fruit Loops birthday cake and then Frosted Flakes banana cream I love Frosted Flakes and so does Tyreek so this actually looked really good to me I have not tried this yet so I don't know but I will try this one today and I will let you know how it tastes I'm actually going to transfer it into one of our mini cereal containers that we use because no one decided to do it last night when we got it. Oh, and they also picked Cotton Candy Captain Crunch. So, I don't know, this does not sound very good to me at all. So I have five cereal tubs total. Those two are empty. And then I'm just going to put the ones that I just refilled in here. And that's how I keep my cereal, you guys. And I'm watching my friend Edna's cruise ship vlogs. This is her second one, Edna's World. Check her out. She goes on many cruise vacations. I'm so jealous of her. And yeah, I'm catching up on these videos right now. So I just tried the banana flavored banana cream frosted flakes. And I actually think it's pretty good because I love frosted flakes and I love bananas. So to me, that is really good. So they made a good choice on that one. kitchen all clean ignore that I'm making dinner with the spaghetti sauce tonight and then I'm sure the kids are gonna make their s'mores today but everything is all clean I have just decided to leave the rice pot there because I don't have room in my cupboards for it all dishes are washed other than that the kitchen is clean I this is the stuff that I don't wash that I don't put in the dishwasher and I did not start the dishwasher because it is not full it is dark okay so kitchen is clean 
Okay, so now that I'm done cleaning, I'm gonna use my diffuser to make the house smell good. I've already put my water in there, if you guys can see. And I am using vanilla berry, so it doesn't take very much to give it, your house a nice aroma, but some of them I like putting a lot. Okay, that's enough for that. And you can actually mix these, and I'm gonna mix it also with Hawaiian mist. And I notice when I mix these two together, I get just like a really good scent in the house. And it smells really good. And in the kitchen, I'm gonna use my candle warmer. I turned it on. I'm waiting for this wax to melt a little bit so I can use the vanilla wax cubes. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. And that's my little setup. I know you guys have seen this picture before, but I'll show you again. That's my dad. He passed away when I was 19. And yes, he was a police officer and I miss him dearly. So, yeah. Are you ready to get out? Are you ready to get out? He's like, look woman, it took you long enough. You can be free. You can be free. Come on. All right. All right. <laughs> hey Boston. Say hello to everyone. Say hello. He needs to get cut, you guys. We need to take him to the groomers. Out the kitchen, Boston. You know better. Out. Good boy. Whew, y'all. If I'm sweaty and glistening, I do apologize. Nope. You know not to sit on the couch. You know better. So, yes, I we have trained him not to get on the couch. Because I just don't want him on my couch anymore on my leather to mess it up. Because sometimes, I mean, he's a dog. And sometimes he'll scratch at it and turn around in circles and try to find a comfortable spot and I don't want my leather messed up. So it actually was not hard to train him. Every now and then though, every now and then he will try to sneak up on the couch, just like a kid. Tell him to get down and he'll get down. Nope, Boston, come back. She's not here. He's looking for Savannah. So done with cleaning and the only thing I did not do, if you guys notice, I did not mop and that's because um, I mop when the kids are all asleep or I know they are going to be gone for a long amount of time. I used to do that all the time when they were younger. I used to wait till they go to sleep to mop because one of my pet peeves is when I have a wet floor and a clean floor and then here comes one of them. Oh, my bad. Let me just get something really quick in the kitchen or my bad. I just need to walk through here. So one does it. The second one does it. The third one does it. And then after that, my floor is messy again. I don't know, that's just one of my pet peeves that I hate. So, we'll wait till I know they're all gone. And even though two are at work, um, and I know I can mop, but Tariq is not working today, and he just left. But sometimes he's in and out. So, I don't know, I just, I just don't want no one walking on my wet floors. So, <laughs> I will wait till tonight when I know they're in bed. And they already know. They, they know me enough by now to, when mama's mopping, if you've already gone to bed, don't come out because I will not be happy. Hey, Boston. So, I'm just going to sit here and relax. I didn't call you. He was laying down and then he, when I called him, he came over here. Um, what am I going to do? I'm just going to relax. I am watching Melissa's video now. Um, she went to Los Angeles yesterday and she's going to be in Disneyland today. So jealous. I have not been to Disneyland in a while, so we actually need to plan a trip because I miss Disney. Yeah. I'm Boston. I miss Disney. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We're going to have to find a place for you when we go, huh? We're going to have to find a temporary, not a temporary home. We're not giving them away. We're going to have to find a place that boards you that will watch you for a week or something like that. Oh, and guess what, you guys? So, Boston, come back. Just sit down somewhere. Anyway, so what I forgot to tell you guys is, I know I told you guys I got my new phone, the SX Max, which the screen protector is already cracked. That was Savannah's fault. I'm not even going to go into that because every time I look at it, I get mad because I had just had it put on and then she accidentally, it was an accident, but still I wasn't too happy about it. Her screen protector is not cracked. Anyway, so kind of bougie, 
right now because I was looking at different phone cases and because last time I got a Kate Spade one for my XR, now I'm like, I want another Kate Spade one. I can't have a regular phone case. So um, I did find a Kate Spade case on Macari and I ordered it. And if you guys don't know what Macari is, it's an app that you can download where people can sell their items. I've sold stuff before, all of my kids have. I bought many of things on Macari and a lot of them are new things. Well, some of them are new things, but most of them are gently used stuff and you can find some really good deals on there. So I did order another Kate Spade um, phone case for this phone and it should actually be delivered today. So I'm excited about that. I've been so afraid I'm going to drop this phone. I've been doing everything to baby it and keep it protected. And yeah, I do not, this phone was not cheap, so yeah so these are the shoes that i had got for savannah for um where are you going <laughs> for her job and they said these were not good enough because these were they had the traction on it but they weren't like grease resistant and i'm sure working at mcdonald's on the floor there's a lot of grease so we actually got her some that were way cheaper than this this was 50 something dollars we got her some at walmart um which is the brand that they recommend that all of the McDonald's employees wear and it was $25. So I'm gonna return this cause she doesn't want them. Oh my goodness, you guys, look what came. I'm so excited, it's super cute. I'm gonna put it on my phone now. Here it is, you guys, I'm so excited. It's super cute and see, I know you can barely see that it says Kate Spade, but it is Kate Spade and it has the um, ring right there. So yeah, you guys, I finally have a cover for my phone. I am in love with this. I'm so spoiled. I'm, I'm just so bougie right now. I cannot have another case unless it's Kate Spade right now. Just like I have not bought another purse, only Michael Kors. Sad. You guys, look what Tariq just told me to do. So if you Google the Wizard of Oz, tap the red shoes and watch what happens. There is no place like Isn't that amazing? Tap the tornado. <laughs> you guys should try that. So Google the Wizard of Oz, tap the shoes, then tap the tornado. That's so cool. So we are in Arden Mall, about to exchange Savannah shoes or turn them in. Not exchange, not turn them in. <laughs> We're about to get a refund for them. I know I can't even talk like, yeah, like a book. Turn them in, overdue shoes, time for an upgrade. We also went to Dimple Records on Arden. They are closing, I'm so sad. So I'll show you guys what I got later. So we're at the mall, duh. And we just ate at a place called Delta Soul. And Savannah and I are sharing catfish, mac and cheese, Elote and those are fried wings over there and also jambalaya. She gave us this free for waiting So we're in Hobby Lobby and Savannah's gonna touch the spider It doesn't matter. They're, they're all scary. Touch it. Don't touch the butt. What if it moves after you touch it? Really? Are you gonna walk around with that? Please don't. Put it up. No, I'm gonna carry one of these around with me. Right yeah. So we're just checking everything out. I actually have a painting that I'm having the framing department <laughs> put up. Or oh, not put up, they're gonna put a frame on it. We have a Christmas tree. She is literally like a five year old, has to touch everything. What are you doing? You don't work here. Why are you restocking stuff? Savannah. Okay, so we're watching night school and it's hecka funny and we're home. We went to a bunch of places and I'll show you guys a few things that we got later. All right, so I told you guys I'm gonna show you what I got at Dimple Records. I did not pay $7.99 for that. The CDs were actually $1 and I got the Phantom of the Opera and all of these were $1.99. So I got the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I don't think my kids have ever seen this one. 
And I got the first, second, and third season of Downton Abbey. Is that how you say it? Downton? Downton Abbey? Yeah. So, that's it. Alright, you guys. It is late. It's actually almost 1 a.m. Gotta get up for church tomorrow. So, we were just watching movies all night and enjoying each other's company, being silly or whatever. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!